Elementary kids are full of energy. But for some kids at Osceola Mills Elementary, school isn't always a fun place to be. Emotional support teacher Jody Opal saw a need and a solution to it that all kids can benefit from. I implemented the sensory floor, um, so I use it a lot with my kids as a reward time, but also the regular ed teachers use it um, as a way to get some extra energy out or even just to allow the kids a reward to jump through the hallway on their way to specials or what have you. The sensory trail spans two hallways and the janitors wax the different activities kids can take part in on the trail. Hopping, um, on the wall we have activities like doing the wall pushes. The idea isn't something new, but the sensory trail is an addition to Osceola Mills positive behavior program implemented five years ago. Well, it's something that they can they can look forward to. We do monthly assemblies, and then you know, um, you know, we can really just motivate them to you know to be safe and uh, be respectful and responsible, and you know that's what we're aiming for. Since the sensory trail was put in a year ago, staff members have already seen a boost in student morale and keeping kids engaged throughout the day. It's something that they can they can look forward to. We do monthly assemblies, and then you know, um, you know, we can really just motivate them to you know to be safe and uh, be respectful and responsible and you know that's what we're aiming for research shows that the more activity that a kid does the more the, the blood gets pumping um, the longer they're able to sit in a classroom the more attentive they are and more focused uh, so that was our hope with rolling out the hallway reporting in osceola mills i'm devin jackson wtaj news